All right, so I guess this is the class trial it's time. The moment you've all been waiting for, the class trial. All right. You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Red door right through here. Good God, this it's still daytime. Holy shit, this is creepy. How the hell can we even t tell time here, though? I don't even know if it's Monday, Tuesday, or even Wednesday. Okay. Everyone's here except for Toko. Ahem, so is everyone ready to- What? Am I blind or are we missing someone? Yo. Yeah, Toko's not here. Ha! Huh, Toko is- You really don't remember? Come on! Kidding! I'm just kidding! How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of the class trial this time. Okie dokie, I'll go ahead and drag her out of here kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. And just like that, he's, a few minutes later, he reappeared dragging Toko behind him. Yeah. Yeah. I told him I didn't want to, but he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around. Yeah. Terrible, you're too terrible. Phew. Phew. So, now everyone's here, right? Okay then, hustle around, blah blah blah. I'll see you guys down here. Let's go. Alright. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. And the murderer is one of us. Someone standing right here. I'm gonna call it Toko. Did you- No, 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 I did- No, 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 we have no choice- Fuck, I wanna- I swear to God, the lag keeps on fucking me over! Uh, whatever, okay, whatever. So much for talking to other people. The steel box sank and heavy conking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. And, as we went up deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator is unaffected, however, and we continued to descend without hesitation. Until finally... It came to a sudden stop. <laughs> Ooh, what do you think? I redecorated! Isn't it so fresh? <laughs> you're not a squid, are you? Don't waste your time with super questions. Let's get on with this. <clears throat> good, good, you're rep raring to go. Gotta say, I don't hate it, not at all. Okay, then. Let's get the show on the road. Everyone, please find your assigned seats. Alright. And so the current opens once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly exception, and betrayal. Yeah, yeah, we get a deadly shit. Got it. Uh, oops. Yes, please. Thank you. All right. Oh boy, this is scary. All right. Uh, set skills. What? Oh right, we got shit. Okay. So increase the time limit for each phase effectively. During the crash trial. We don't have very much of a trouble for that just yet, though. Robot jaw. <laughs> okay. Increase your truth bullets. Rate of fire. Effective during the non-stop debate. Okay. Let's enter. Oh, well, no. It's already in. Okay. It's already equipped. No, this voice. Okay. So it costs SP. All right. Damn it. Increases the damage of opponents. To okay. This is the only one that I have yet to equip, so okay. We got Lost in Thought, which is increasing. Okay. That's all the things I have so far. E Handbook. Alright, let's review the case so far before we actually start with the trial. So, determine the depth of the case here. The victim was Chihiro. Okay, nighttime. Body was discovered in the girls' locker room. But as mentioned before, the fact that the girls' locker room and the boys' locker room somehow kind of like switched and changed. That could be very confusing. Not just, like, but the thing is, it's the exact same location. It's not like it, the boards are switched or anything. No, but for some reason, the rooms themselves somehow switched. So that's weird. Um, Sakura's account. Alright, what, what did she say again? Although Chihiro wanted to get stronger, she declined the invitation of Sakura and Aoi, and may have used the locker room late at night to avoid them. Despite this, Chihiro had said that she desired to help desired help for her efforts. She may have been meeting someone at the locker room the night she was murdered. May have. No, sorry, that's a murder weapon. 
told anyone willing to listen that she won to get stronger. Some assume that due to her inferiority complex being about being weak, she admires strength more than anything else. Okay. This one. To unlock a locker room, you need to swipe your e-card over the card reader. You need a male student's handbook for the male locker room and a female student for a girl's. It is not possible for two people to enter at the same time. Additionally, lending someone your hand handbook is a violation of school regulation. Okay. The handbook of each student has, that has died in the place, alright. It's possible someone could have used their handbook, but we don't have the record of whatever. And not only that, but the broken E handbook. That might not have relation to the case, but uh, it's something worth note, I guess. Genocide Jack. Okay, this is definitely the huge, huge part. If Genocide Jack is really one of our among the students. Alright, that's our thing. Owie! Something about to do with her hand with guys more than girls. In Sakura's account, she's also a state. It also backs up the evidence that for some reason Jihiro is more prone to uh, hang out with more of the guys rather than one of the girls. Maybe it's some sort of insecure. Maybe that's how insecure. Wow, fucking hell. Maybe it's not just the girls because, like, well, maybe then again. But hold on. Oh, what are you saying specifically? This is from the other girls at the school. So it's not just Aoi and Sakura, it's also Toko and... I'm assu and since be from the beginning, I'm also assuming Sakura... Or sorry, not Sakura, uh, Sayaka. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, unless... Uh, have I missed any other girls? I don't think so. Alright. Meanwhile, I haven't noticed. Marking a lot with the male classmates. Yeah, I noticed her... She and, uh... What's his face again? Mondo has been really pretty much... Hanging out a lot. As well, she seems to have not have a whole lot of trouble talking to you guys for some reason. Maybe she is a lesbian. Who knows? I don't fucking know. Maybe she's just being insecure about the girls she's noticing and having a crush on. Huh. <clears throat> oh yeah, the boys' locker room carpets. So the boys' locker room carpets are blackish stain. We could assume that's the coffee stain that she was talking about. Locker room posters are switched for some reason. The hero's e handbook was not found on her corpse and has apparently gone missing. Have we even found that yet? Maybe, uh. Byakuya and Kiko. or Kyoko. Is there any fuck? Is, uh. gonna shed light onto that. Baba Chiro's body has been suspended and her hands have been bound with some kind of rope. We now know the rope is definitely the extension cord from the, uh. <coughs> whatchamacallit, the, uh. Archive room. The Spirit Stain. Copy Stain apparently disappeared. So we're to assume that the room somehow changed? If that's the case, how the fuck did it change? And how is it that it's still like. No, that, but the background has not changed. The boys' locker room is still blue. It's just that there's a coffee stain and there's the boy band logo or the boy band thing. And for the girls' locker room. The big breast, but it's also pink as well, and it's clean. <sighs> Byakuya was known to use this lamp often, however, the extension cord had gone missing at some point, and the lamp cord could have reached the outlet. Alright. We need to know where the fuck this bag thing is. We haven't even found that yet. So that's gonna be a problem. Alright. I think that's a good enough time to take a break as well. I think we reviewed all the assets we've gotten. Let's save the game, and we'll be right back after the next episode of Daygun Ropa, so stay tuned for that.